barbershop conversation, guys. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. So, Meek Mills is charged with assault after an airport scuffle. You know, this video can go so many different ways. But when you claim to be a thug, thug things happen to you, you know? And uh, I don't know if he's innocent or guilty. I'm not even talking about that. But when you spit that energy into the universe, the universe spits it right back to you. So, anyways, I I I'll tell you what happened. I guess some some fan wanted a uh, wanted a picture with Meek Mills, but uh, Meek Mills didn't want it. So a um, a scuffle ensued and was broke up by broke up by airport police, and they was released under their own recognizance, and they'll be and they have a uh, court date to appear in court in St. Louis. I'll put the link in the description box. But let me explain this guys to you, man. If you if you made it. Why do you act poor when you made it? You know what I mean? Rich people, rich people, not rich people, but uh, hip-hop people who are on the top of the game, like Meek Mills, he's, I mean, he's in the top 5% in terms of wealth in America. You know, if you're a millionaire in America, you're in the top 5%. And uh, why do you have poor people habits? No, excuse me, not poor people habits, ignorant people habits. You know, want to show how tough you are. Man, walk away. And I'm the greatest example of that. I'm telling you, if a dude wants to fight me, fighting is my last option. I'm, if a dude wants to fight me, I'm going to walk away. I'm going to say, not now. I'm going to surrender to him. You win. My bad. My fault. I don't care if it goes on Instagram. I don't care if it goes on YouTube. I don't care if you embarrass me. And uh, I just won't do it. I will run. <laughs> I tell people, I will find an escape route before I try and fight. Man, I'm 40 years old, man, 39. I'm tired of my brain shaking. You know what I mean? I'm not I'm not into that. Self-defense, that's a different story, man. You put your hand on my son. You put your, you know, things like that. But, you know, and I would consider myself an above average fighter in terms of a, a guy. If you want to street fight me, you, I mean, if you're anywhere in the realm of my my weight, my height, you have minimal chance to beat me up anyway, but I'm not even going there in terms of wanting to fight. You, you guys understand what I'm saying? And, and and I use the other guy as an example, the guy from uh, Ring TV. I was very angry inside when I spoke to that man. And I know I can beat people ass when I talk to him, when I get it, but I, I don't even, that's not even where I want to take the conversation. You know, as I tell you guys, you want to be the gentleman when you enter the conversation and the gentleman when you leave the conversation. And I know some of you guys, I say, but there's some things you might not do. Well, there's something called self-control. All right. You know how many, you know how many uh, black belt karate guys are out there? I've been all over Asia and I, I, I went to them shows and I look at these guys, they're 123 pounds. And when I went to Thailand, 123, 130 pounds, you look at these guys, you like, Damn, I know I can beat his ass. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck with that. You know what I'm saying? So you just never, ever know, you know? And at the end of the day, you never want to be able to let that, you don't want violence to be your first solution, you know? Um, I'm not fearful of not many people. I'm being honest. Like, I'm not, I'm not afraid of Oscar De La Hoya. As, as much as I talk about Oscar De La Hoya, I am unafraid of Oscar De La Hoya. I said his fucking name. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not afraid of that she -mail. Absolutely not afraid of him. No way, no how. If, if the bed in public obviously would say he probably would kick my ass. But I tell you, I'm going to wrestle. The sh There's no way in hell I'm going to stand up with him. No way in hell. No way in hell. And I'm not circling. And I'm not circling to my right. <laughs> if you guys know boxing, I'm staying away from his left hand. I got the scout report on him. And I'm taking him to the ground as soon as possible. And I'm going to choke the life out of him. And that's just, I'm rushing him. I'm not, he, he may land a punch with me coming in. And that's about it. But outside of that, we going to the ground. All right. And, uh, but anyways, outside of that, I'm not even thinking about fighting a man. So I, I am fearful of not many people in this world. You know, Mike Tyson in this prime, no way in hell. <laughs> outside of that, man, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not fighting nobody. But anyway, to sum up my conversation, man, you guys get where I'm going with this, man. Don't let violence be your first option. Violence should be your last option. Because even if you win the fight, guess what? Your knuckles going to hurt. 
you might get a broken nose. You might get some scratches on you. You know, just, man, do the right thing, guys. I, I preach this all the time in my videos. And uh, you guys know I'm a passive. I'm a uh, pacifist by nature. But, uh, um, man, it's, it, you know, especially when you can predict it. I know this video is going a little bit longer than I thought. But when you can predict violence and you can predict bad things happening and look it's happening because everybody knows he's on parole excuse me on probation so you know when you commit a crime on probation you have to serve that time the rest of your time in the probation so i, I don't know what's going to become of it but anyways man i know we have a lot of testosterone out there hone it you know what i mean build a house <laughs> you, know what I mean? you know what i mean go grapple with your son teach them how to defend themselves you know you know, op violence should be your last option. You can always walk away from a fight. Always. Apologize. You win. Man, I'm not. Man, you know what? I was. I was. I wasn't thinking about myself. And I don't care if I got 10 cameras on me. 15 cameras on me. 20 cameras. I'm being honest with you. Um, I'm going to find a way out this motherfucker. I'm finding a way not to pick my fists up. So. That's just what I feel. That's just what I believe. So barbershop conversations. Enjoy your Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening if you're on the East Coast. And uh, March Madness is on the play-in games. We got March Madness Thursday, Friday. Don't call me if you have my number. Don't text me if you have my number. Because I am, as you guys know, basketball is my first love. Boxing is my second. And uh, I'm addicted to it. I'm, I'm putting my bets in. I'm doing halftime bets. I ain't got time to talk to you guys. All right, because <laughs> everyone calls me. What do you think about this? The closer it gets to the fight, my phone calls increase by like 50%. You know what I'm saying? Who should I bet on? Man, is it going to be a knockout? Man, do you know Daniel Jacobs? Do you know Triple G? You know? <laughs> Anyways, man, barbershop conversations, man. I genuinely love you guys. And uh, lesson be learned. Let violence, violence should be your last option. I know there are times when we have to fight. I've been in a few fights in my life. But there, allow it to be your last option. Make common sense more common. All right? So barbershop conversation. I'm gone. Peace.